So now it is time to see our first uh, stream cipher example, RC4, which is very important for wireless network security. RC4 was designed by Ron Rivest in 1987 for RSA security. It was kept as a trade secret until it was reverse engineered in 1994. It supports variable key size. Uh, the key can be as short as 40 bits, which is five bytes, or it can be as long as uh, 2048 bits. Uh, I think it should be 256 bytes. So it is simple, fast, and have a very large period. We know that it is, its period is larger than 10 to the power 100 when the, your secret key has length 128 bits. It processes the plain text byte by byte. So as you can see, as we discussed before, not every stream cipher process the plain text bit by bit. Uh, it can be byte or blocks of data. It was used in SSL TLS. It was the standard in version 1.0 for secure web communications. It was also a wireless LAN. It, it was in wireless LAN standard, IEEE 802.11. And this was known as WEP, which was uh, short for wired equivalent privacy. So it was supposed to give you wired equivalent privacy, but as you can see, it does not because RC4 is broken which we are going to mention in a minute. It was also used in Microsoft Office uh, for point-to-point -point encryption. And it actually, it was used in many different areas. So uh, this is why it is important. Uh, nowadays, since it is broken, people shouldn't be using them. But uh, we know that people are still using it. Uh, a lot of our people are still using web as their Wi-Fi security and so on. So uh, it should be avoided. So its structure is really simple. For this reason, let's see how it works. Uh, SI, uh, SIs can be seen as the internal state of this uh, stream cipher. So it has an internal uh, size of uh, 256 bytes, which is 2048 bits. So initially, we fill this uh, internal state with I for I starting from 0 to 255, so SI equals to I initially. Then uh, we get another uh, variable J, which, which is initialized to 0. And in a for loop that starts from I equals to 0 to I equals to 255, we do the following. Uh, J is now equivalent to J plus SI plus key byte. Here, the byte of the key is used, but you know, if you choose a short key, uh, there may not be the eight byte for some large i. For this reason, you use i mod length of your key in terms of bytes. Then you have the modulo 256 at the end. So this way, you determine j, then you swap s i and j. So you kind of uh, fill the initial state. Uh, so internal state becomes somewhat uh, modified by the usage of key. So this is the main idea behind the key step. So this is what you do before producing any key stream. So you choose your key, you initialize your SIs to I's, then uh, with respect to your key, this internal state is modified. When it is, this process is finalized, this key setup process is finalized. Now it is time to produce key stream. And the key stream is produced as follows. Now we initialize i and j again to 0. Then i is updated as follows. i equals to i plus mod 256. So it is just incremented by 1. But j is incremented as follows. j is now equal to j plus si. So si values actually determines the current value of j. So is you can think i and j as a pointer in this array. So once you obtain the values of i and j, you look at the values s i and s j and you swap them. Also, you produce the s i plus s j as the output. So it is some kind of a, a swapping bytes and then producing the uh, output with respect to this byte. So operation is really simple. Again, you just 
uh, at uh, each clock, you produce one byte of output like here. And this determined as follows, you just uh, find the values of i and j with respect to this operation. Then you uh, swap the uh, bytes si and sj. But you also produce the output as si plus sj mod 256. This value, if it is this, then it's uh, produced as the key byte as shown in here. So as you can see, it is a very simple uh, cipher, but it is a, it doesn't provide any uh, security uh, proofs. So uh, let's see how it is broken. Vertical privacy uses RC4 to encrypt packages for transmission over IEEE 802.11 wireless LAN standard. To avoid producing the same key stream, web requires each package to be encrypted with a different RC4 key. RC4 key is used for web uh, is concatenation of a 24-bit initialization vector, which is generated randomly, and uh, your long-term key, which can be as short as 40 bits and as long as 104 bits. But as you might imagine, 24-bit uh, IV is short, so if somebody generates a lot of keys, then it has to repeat itself after some point. Yeah, you can at most have two to the 24 different initialization vectors. It is not that small, but I think it is like uh, 16 million, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, there are a lot of attacks. Uh, one, of, one to mention is Fluor Armand and Shamir attack, which was uh, published in 2001. They observed that the first bytes of the key stream are not random. With certain IVs, an attacker knowing the first byte of the key stream and the first M bytes of the key can derive the M plus first byte of the key. So this is a byte by byte recovery attack. Uh, so we say that with certain IVs, so this means that some IVs are weak. And this is what actually uh, these people used in their attack. And it has to, you know, start with an uh, uh, assumption that the attacker knows the first byte of the key stream. But uh, first byte of the plain text in web comes from snap header, which is almost always uh, AA in hexadecimal notation. So once you get the ciphertext, you just XOR it with this value and obtain the first byte of the key stream, then you can perform the Fluorine Mountain Shamir attack. But uh, later on, uh, a lot better attack is uh, published by Tez, Weinman, and Pishkin. The title of the paper is Breaking 104-bit web in less than 60 seconds. And this attack does not require the usage of weak IVs. So it applies to every uh, web uh, key. So um, if you have automated tools that allows you to recover web passwords, that tool actually is performing this attack. So in less than a minute, you can capture any web uh, key. So uh, you can uh, break the uh, security in uh, Wi-Fi protocols if they are using web. So web is uh, still a lot to be used in routers. So if you just uh, um, sometimes use the default value uh, if your router is old it comes with web and some people deliberately chooses it because sometimes they have problems when they try to uh, set up their system with uh, wpa so people keep using web but as you can see it is broken and you shouldn't uh, rely on the security of web <clears throat> 